Hi, Yi Zhao Martins, licensed marriage and family therapist, couples therapist. So some of my clients share with me that their ADHD partner talks too much. That as if they have no screener and they just keep purging what's ever going on in their mind. And that they feel quite burnt out by this. And why is that a problem? So they also share in social situations, sometimes their ADHD partner doesn't have a screener. And they will share what's being talked about in private, in the public, in a social situation that's not appropriate. And that caused the partner feeling embarrassed um, and very irritable. So that could be caused by the ADHD brain. As we know, being impulsive um, is part of the ADHD symptoms. So it's very hard for uh, partners with ADHD sometimes to think about and contemplate what needs to be said in certain situations when there's an urge for it to come out, when they feel it's relevant, and before they think too much about it, the words already come out. And they cause themselves embarrassment, shame, and guilt, and sufferings for their partner. On the other hand, some other clients share that their ADHD partner doesn't talk. Or when they're being together, spending time together, and suddenly their ADHD partner starts to look like their eyes are glossy. Um, and they seem to be going away somewhere, um, disappearing, not being present. Or maybe they will not answer in an absent-minded way um, that doesn't feel genuine and connecting for their partner. So their partner tend to feel irritated, angry, hurt, um, very alone and disconnected from their partner. Well, this could be caused by rumination, which is repetitive, excessive, repetitive thinking. Um, that can be categorized in two parts. One is reflexive. So we're using the example from the earlier social situation, saying something unfiltered and inappropriate. So later on, the ADHD partner could be losing their sleep and going over the situation over and over again, trying to brainstorm and look for solutions for this problem. So they, do, they will not do that again. And they could be very apologetic. Um, so that's more a problem solving focused rumination, which can be um, helpful, it's reflective, but too much of it can cause a lot of energy spent for the ADHD partner. Another form of rumination is more damaging. It's called brooding. So this has a negative and self-defeating nature. Um, for example, the ADHD partner could keep saying to themselves, um, I'm so stupid that I'm so embarrassing that I don't know what to say. I'm a failure. Um, I shouldn't be you know, going to socials with my partner to embarrass them. This can lead to anxiety and depression. So you may say, what to do you, uh, when my partner could be having A, talking too much and talking my ears off, or two, not sharing and disappear, not being present and having this rumination and they're suffer, suffering internally. So in both situations, the partner, both partners are suffering. And I want to speak to you partners of ADHD clients. So you may feel embarrassed shamed, burnt out, alone, and very disconnected connected from your ADHD partner in both situations. Even when they're talking nonstop, you may feel like they're talking to a blank screen that you are not connecting with them. They just need to dump everything on you so they get rid of their anxiety. So in those moments, I encourage you to do a short exercise with me, of pressing your feet onto the floor and taking deep breath in. Just allow your in-breath to come in and fill up your belly and your ribcage and your chest. And there's a natural pause in there. And exhale, just to let that happen. The air come out, out of your nose. And do it two more times. Pause. Let it go. And one more time. 
and let it go. What are you noticing when your partners are talking, 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 or they're going away, and you feel disconnected? What are the sensations inside of you? Maybe sometimes you notice tension somewhere in your chest,、um, or maybe it's a change of temperature. You feel heat rising, or do you feel overwhelmed and stressed? What are you noticing? And if you can relate that to feelings, are you feeling sad, angry, embarrassed? Are you feeling irritated? And what are the urges you have? You want to fix a problem, get them to stop, or get them to talk about what they think and feel?、Um, or are you feeling anxious? But you need to connect. You want to reach out. Any thoughts come into your mind that you want to say to them? What are your needs in those moments when your partners are talking and stuff? Do you need them to leave you alone to have a quiet moment? When they're going away, when you're having family time, do you need them to acknowledge you and tell me where they are, what's going on with them? You need a reassurance. Once you get that down, which may take some time, and you want to check in with your partner with ADHD, see if you can find a time when they are ready and open to hear your needs. Express what you exactly need in that moment, even though that might not be comfortable for you with them. Say when they are talking nonstop, they are sharing everything goes on in their mind because they're anxious about something. At some point, at some point, you you had enough of it. You can say gently, touch their hand, saying, "Honey, I really need to have a moment to myself. I heard a lot of what you're saying. I understand you might be anxious. I need a break. So let me take a break. I'll come back to you, or maybe let's just enjoy this dinner." Together, play some soothing music that help both of us regulate. Or maybe you can check in your partner by putting your hand on him or her and connect with eye contact. Say, "Hi, honey, where did you go? Could you be here with me?" Even then, that means you are just sharing a meal together, listening to some music together, or having some physical contact, taking a walk together. Well, talk about the things you want to talk about, and see if they are ready to listen to you. And if you have more room after doing that, stating your needs, maybe inquire about their needs. What can I do to help you to support you? I understand you're anxious. I understand that you're either going through that in your head or talking out loud. What else can I do to support you? What is that thing something you really need? They may say, "Well, I want you to listen." You may want to set a time limit how much you can listen. They may say, "Well, I don't know how you can help me or support me. Maybe give me a hug. Maybe just remind me when I go into that space again to ask me to come out." If they say no, I don't need any support from you. I don't. I can't think of anything right now. But thank you. Well, leave them alone. Leave their problem to themselves, and go take care of yourself. Do some gentle self care. May that be taking a walk, listen to music, do some exercise, read a book, do a drawing, do a pixel puzzle, playing with the kids, playing with the pets. Anything that can soothe you and make you a better partner and more refreshed. So until next time, thank you for listening. If you like this video. You can subscribe by pressing the bell button underneath that, or leave me a comment and tell me what else would you like to know about living a loving、um, with your ADHD partner. Till next time, bye.